Hey y'all, this is Southern Woods here. Welcome back to the video game play-in tournament, all right, where I look at these video game franchises and we're gonna determine who's best based on the magical bullet categories and the winner overall will go into the real tournament with the big dogs, all right? We are in round two, the big 16. Last matchup, last round was a real exciting one. Uh, we had some underdogs get some dubs and we had some sweeps and some close matches so if you haven't checked out round one i highly suggest that you do let's go straight into round two the big 16 with the number one seed of this uh play-in tournament super smash brothers against the 17th seed uncharted this will still be best out of five so first the three points will win Starting with category 15, which is going to be difficulty. So the harder, the better. Between Super Smash Bros. and Uncharted. Um, you know, Uncharted, it has uh, some combat involved, some puzzles, quick reflexes, strategic thinking. Not the hardest uh, game franchise on here, but, you know, it has some difficulty uh, Super Smash Bros, it has some mechanics, some precise timing events, also some strategic and competitive gameplay. However, I think Uncharted it requires a little bit more skill, so I'm going to give the point here to Uncharted. All right, next category we got is 12. Category 12 is going to be multiplayer. So whichever of these has the better multiplayer experience will um, win. And honestly, Super Smash Brothers, one of the best multiplayer experiences in this tournament. Um, I mean, a lot of it is multiplayer based, especially, especially local, like competitive play, you know, co-op type stuff. Uh, so it's definitely going to get the hand over Uncharted, which honestly isn't mainly a multiplayer game. So... Super Smash Bros, number one seed, tying it up, 1-1. One, one. All right, next up we have Category 16. Category 16 is going to be the modding community here. So uh, the better the mods, the better they're going to do. Uh, Uncharted, very limited modding capabilities. There's very few, and they're mainly focused on graphical improvements. However, Super Smash Bros has a very, very small and limited modding community, uh, mainly on the older titles like Melee and Super Smash Brawl. So um, I'm going to give the nod here to Uncharted, I think. I feel like there's just a little bit more of a community for modding. So they go up two to one. Next up, we got Category 2, which is going to be the player and critic rating. Super Smash Bros, 93%. All right, one of the better on this tournament meanwhile uncharted 87 percent respectable but super smash bros going to tie it up 2-2 we have a good matchup starting off this big 16 and we're going to end it with a shocking number one which is number one seed you hate to get this on a sudden death type of draw super smash bros nets 75 and a half million dollars in revenue over its tenure meanwhile uncharted 17th seed with 44 million super smash bros gonna edge them out here winning three to two Uncharted is out of here. Super Smash Bros. goes on to the great eight. All right, next up, we have the ninth seed Spider-Man against the eighth seed Elder Scrolls. Starting with category 15. Category 15 is going to be the difficulty, once again, between Elder Scrolls and Spider-Man. You know, Elder Scrolls open world RPG has complex mechanics. Um, you have to have, you know, understand of your character and your character's build, their strategicness going in there. Uh, meanwhile, honestly, Spider-Man, there is some challenging combat from what I've seen. And, you know, you have to have the mechanics to traverse with the city and everything, having some reflexes. But I definitely think Elder Scrolls has more of a, more of a deeper learning curve and whatnot. So giving the point there to Elder Scrolls. Next up, we have Category 9. Category 9 is going to be uh, the soundtrack here between Spider-Man. Elder Scrolls, honestly, uh, probably the best soundtrack, arguably, um, in this uh, tournament. Uh, you know, big composer with uh, Jenny Saul. Uh, sweeping epic orchestras, right? Um, tracks like Dragonborn, very, very iconic, uh, immersive uh, soundtrack 
all together. So I think it's probably the best on here, beating out Spider-Man, which honestly, um, eh. I mean, it has a decent soundtrack overall, especially the recent ones, but not going to cut it here. Elder Scrolls is going to go up two to zero. I do a lot of research for this one, so. All right, next up, like, hit that like button if you liked this tournament so far, especially if your favorite uh, gaming franchise is still in it. This is also category 17, so we are going to the awards now. Biggest awards are going to win. Elder Scrolls, all right, especially Skyrim, uh, has won numerous Game of the Year awards from different publications. Highly acclaimed franchise, uh, definitely more than Spider-Man, which, I mean, Spider-Man has some stuff to its name, uh, especially the more recent ones, multiple awards for uh, design specifically and uh, for adaptation, but Elder Scrolls is going to get a sweep here. Spider-Man is going back to the city because he is no longer in it. Elder Scrolls moving on to the Great Eight. Our next matchup, all right, Spider-Man got knocked out, but what about the last seed Batman Arkham series against the 12th seed Far Cry? Two uh, gaming franchises that I've actually spent extensive time on. We're starting with Category 2, which is going to be player and critic rating. For the Batman Arkham series, they have an average of 92%, really good. Meanwhile, Far Cry, 91%. So Batman just edging them out to start off, going up 1 to 0. Next up, we have Category 16. So we're going to the mods now. Back to the mods. They've been very important here. Um, you know, in round one, they were very important. Got drawn a lot. Far Cry, good number of mods, all right? Especially Far Cry 3 and 5. Um, meanwhile, Batman, moderate modding scene as well, especially with the skins and gameplay graphical improvements. But I'm going to give the nod here to Far Cry uh, for sure on this one. So they tied up 1-1. One, one. Next up, we have Category 12. Category 12 is going to be the multiplayer experience between these two. Far Cry, uh, there is a good bit of competitive multiplayer, uh, expansive world gameplay. Players can team up, tackle missions. You know how it is with Far Cry. So uh, definitely higher up on that list. Meanwhile, Arkham, primarily single player experience, but does have some multiplayer elements. Not enough to beat out Far Cry in this category. Far Cry goes up two to one. All right, next up, we got number one. Category one, the revenue. Batman's in last year with uh, $35 million in revenue. Far Cry, $51 million in revenue. So Far Cry is going to get a convincing win against Batman, 3-1, to one, sending our two superheroes of this tournament back home. Far Cry goes to the uh, grade 8. All right, next up, the 20th seed, Gears of War against the 4th seed, Dragon Ball. First appearance of Dragon Ball in this tournament. First up is 15. Category 15 is going to be um, the difficulty. Once again, this one's playing an important role this round between the two. Uh, Gears of War, you know, third-person shooter, has some challenging combat. All right, you have to have cover and team teamwork with Gears of War. All right, it, it can be difficult at times, for sure. Um, meanwhile, Dragon Ball, it can definitely be uh, difficult as well. All right, uh, kind of you know fighter on fighter sort of thing. Um, there's definitely a learning curve with some of the movements. However, uh, I just don't think it. Uh, it's as difficult as Gears of War, especially with the uh, teamwork aspect. So I'm giving the nod here to Gears of War. See how many haters I get for this one. All right, category four. Category four is going to be established date here. So the older the franchise, the better. Dragon Ball established in 1986. Actually, one of the older ones. Uh, here, all right, that's the first Dragon and Ball game, 1986. Meanwhile, Gears of War 2006, uh, 20 years younger. Dragon Ball going to get a point here, tying it one to one. All right, next up, we have category 14, 4 to 14. Um, and category 14 is going to be DLCs, all right, 
between the two. Dragon Ball, all right, especially uh, Xenoverse and the Fighting Z series have numerous DLCs, new characters, new story arcs, gameplay modes, lots of DLCs in Dragon Ball. Gears of War, I mean, it has various DLCs too uh, regarding maps, characters, story expansion, especially Gears 3 and 5, but I think Dragon Ball has far more in terms of DLC, so going up 2 to 1. Next up, we have Category 2, the player and critic rating here. Gears of War, 94%, pretty highly rated. Meanwhile, Dragon Ball, 73%, one of the worst in this tournament, surprisingly. So Gears of War going to tie it up 2-2. Two, two. Next up, we have Category 8. Category 8, something we haven't pulled uh, that much, which is going to be Storyline. I think this is actually our first time pulling it, um, this whole tournament. So... Uh, the better, more complex storyline is going to get the point here. You know, Dragon Ball, based on the hugely popular anime uh, and manga series, so much story arc, so much adventure, so much fighting. There's a lot to it. All right, Gears of War. All right, don't get me wrong. Um, narrative on humanity struggle against, you know, the Locust Horde. All right, there's some deep arc there there's some deep emotional storytelling but dragon ball just has so much more to it so dragon ball barely gonna beat out gears of war but putting them in their place dragon ball is going on to the great eight gears of war you are out of here all right we are halfway through this round two this big 16 all right so take a breather breather if you need and let's come back strong and see who else will make it to the great eight Next matchup, the third seed, Civilization, against the 19th seed, Guitar Hero. These games couldn't be more different from each other. Let's be honest here. We're starting off with Category 7. Category 7 is going to be uh, character popularity. Neither of these games have super popular characters that made it onto the list. So we're re-rolling with Category 9. Category 9 is going to be Soundtrack, all right, between Civilization and um, Guitar Hero. All right, Guitar Hero, primarily a rhythm game, right? All about the soundtrack, all right? With licensed popular songs, mainly rock, metal bands, all right? Very, it's a, it's a musical experience, okay? So it's hard to knock it down. Civilization soundtrack, especially the uh, later entries, wide range of music, uh, inspired by the cultures that, you know, you're playing with or whatnot or against whatever. Um, so I think that's nice, but I think Guitar Hero, I mean, it's, it's a music game. It's going to get the nod here. Next up, we have that like button. Yeah. Hit me with that like button. If you haven't already, all right, if you, if you flaked out the first time, now's your chance. Let's go to the awards here, shall we? Between Civilization and Guitar Hero hero civilization long running game all right it's won several awards for its gameplay and depth um very well received all right has good bit of reward awards to its name meanwhile guitar hero not as much all right it's won several awards especially during its peak uh due to mainly innovation and its cultural impact but uh, it hasn't won a lot since uh, Civilization, I think, is a little bit more in that category. It's going to tie it up one to one. All right, next up, we have Category 15. Category 15 is going to be uh, the difficulty once again. So let's see between these two. Uh, Civilization, turn-based strategy game, right? Steep learning curve, all right? A lot of people can't get into it because of that, requiring actual mastery, all right? of the mechanics and of the strategy very tough game to get a hold of uh or to get a handle of i should say meanwhile guitar hero uh, it has difficulty all right the the rhythm can be challenging um you need precise timing but i think civilization one ups it here it's going up two to one anyone can pick up guitar hero and kind of get the hang of it quickly not so much with civilization Next up, we got category four, which is going to be the established date here. Civilization first came out in 1991. Meanwhile, uh, Guitar Hero 2005, all right? More uh, my generation, uh, not so much the 90s, right? So Civilization older, they're going to get a convincing win here. Three to one against Guitar Hero. Moving on to the grade eight, Guitar Hero is out of here. 
All right, so far these lower seeds are getting knocked out this round, but let's see if the second to last seed, Dark Souls, can handle it against Street Fighter. All right, the 11th seed. One of Declan's favorite games, trying to move on. We are on category six, which is going to be logos, which Dark Souls actually won with this last uh, last round. Let's see if they'll win with this again against Street Fighter. I think Street Fighter's logo is cool, uh, kind of retro, uh, colorful, but I, I like Dark Souls' logo quite a bit. So they're going to get a point here going up 1-0. Next up, we have category 10. First time getting category 10. 10 today which is going to be cultural significance so which one all right obviously this is going to be street fighter pioneered the fighting game genre all right very retro has a lot of influence in pop culture all right good bit of gaming lore there all together i think dark souls is getting there it's really creating its own um pop culture-ness but it's not at the level of street fighter all right no no way so, Street Fighter, tying it up 1-1. One, one. All right, next up we got Category 5. Category 5 is going to be uh, number of games in the series. Well, that's going to hurt Dark Souls because there's only three of them. Meanwhile, Street Fighter, there is... Where did Street Fighter go? 40. So, Street Fighter going to get another point here going up 2-1 to one against Dark Souls. Next up we have Category 13. Category 13 is uh, film and book adaptations. Ooh, this is going to be rough, I think, because uh, Street Fighter has been around so long. There's numerous film adaptations, live action movie with Jean-Claude Van Damme, all right? Several animated films. Um, meanwhile, Dark Souls, I mean, there's uh, inspired books and comics from it, uh, delving into its complex lore. Um, but there's no film yet. There's no shows. So I'm going to have to give the point here to Street Fighter. So uh, to Declan's dismay, Street Fighter moves on to the grade eight while Dark Souls, uh, his soul gets dark as it, they get knocked out. Yeah. All right. We have two more matchups in this big 16 round. We have the 26th seed Counter-Strike against the 23rd seed Fallout. Couple of lower seeds duking it out. Starting with Category five, thought that was two for a second. Category five, total number of games for these entries. For Fallout, there is nine total games. For Counter-Strike, there is five. So um, Fallout, gonna get the nod here, going up one zero. Next up, we have category six, going back to the logo preference between Fallout and Counter-Strike. Uh, Counter-Strike, kinda cool, I kinda like it, but it's honestly nothing uh, too exciting for me, personally. Meanwhile, for um, Fallout, where where is that guy? Oh, yeah, of course, Fallout. Uh, classic, iconic logo. I like the lightning in the O. I'm going to give the nod here to Fallout. So they're going to go up 2-0 against Counter-Strike. All right. Next up, ooh, the one that flew will be chosen. That will be number four, ladies and gentlemen. In category four is uh, the establishing. So that was, that's been kind of important today. Counter-Strike first founded in 2002. Meanwhile, Fallout 1997, only a few years older, getting the point to sweep Counter-Strike 3-0. to zero. Counter-Strike is out of here. Fallout moves on to the great eight. All right, and now our last matchup of the day, we have the 18th seed Bioshock against the second seed Worms, the Worms series, where Worms fight each other. All right, category two is what we're going to start off with, which is player and critical, player and critic uh, rating. Worms, 81%, all right, for being such a high seed in this tournament, uh, not super, super highly regarded. Talking about Bioshock now, uh, 91%. All right, it's got an A, and it's getting the first point here. All right, next up, we have Category 1, which is going to be Revenue, which Worms, $75 million revenue, Bioshock, $43 million. Worms ties it up 1-1. One, one. 
And next up, we have category 11. Category 11, I think this is our first time pulling it today, is going to be innovation. So actual innovation to the gaming world, uh, which has more worms or Bioshock. Bioshock, I mean, it combined immersive storytelling with first person shooter gameplay, tackling very mature themes, to be honest, and philosophical questions, setting some you know new narrative depth and new standards into the gaming world. Uh, meanwhile, uh, talking about worms, <laughs> it's literally a turn-based artillery game with a humorous approach. I mean, it's it's its own thing, but it's nowhere near the innovation of Bioshock. So they're going to get another point going up two to one against Worms. All right, next up, we have Category 8. Category 8 is going to be um, the storyline. So I think we know where this is going. Bioshock, I mean, super rich storyline and narrative. Worms, not much at all. So... Uh, I have to <laughs> I have to give the point here to Bioshock, which handles worms fairly easily. So the second seed has been knocked out early. Bioshock moves on to the great eight. This has been the second round. Thanks for joining me. Something to look forward to. Uh, we have some high seeds, but we also have a couple lower seeds. Bioshock, all right, kind of being in the middle. And then we have a 23rd seed Fallout also moving on. So curious to see where this all ends up. Uh, this will be the finale of the play and tournament next video, where the winner will be the last seed in the big dog session, right? So hit me with that like button if you like the video. If you want to see more of these tournaments in some sort of different category um, or outdoor videos, food reviews, hit me with that subscribe button. Southern Woods out.